Mr Bernard Jenkins. Deputy Speaker, can I first express my confidence and admiration in my right honourable friend, but some disappointment that this matter is being treated as some kind of technical problem when it's actually a constitutional crisis. Uh, my right honourable friend says that the Northern Ireland Executive should seek to resolve this. Can I just point out that under the 1998 Act, the Northern Ireland Executive resolves matters by agreeing things between the power-sharing parties. They disagree on this matter very fundamentally. It is incompatible because the Northern Ireland Protocol is in fact incompatible with the Good Friday Agreement. Now, we also know that the, Good Friday agree the Northern Ireland Protocol is incompatible with the Act of Union because it's been ruled that it supersedes the Act of Union. And, now, and the European Union is saying there aren't enough checks taking place. They, as my right honourable friend says, isn't it now clear that the Northern Ireland Protocol is not fit for purpose, it's not delivering on what it said on the tin, that it would uh, strengthen and undermine, under underpin the Good Friday Agreement, that it needs to be scrapped and replaced with something completely different, which the EU should agree to. They are the only party that has threatened to put infrastructure on the border in Northern Ireland, and we should keep reminding them that they are the people that threaten the peace in Northern Ireland. Uh, Madam Deputy, my, my right honourable friend you know, makes an important point, and indeed you know, that is why uh, the UK uh, Government is engaged in these negotiations with the European Union to seek some important changes, and we are motivated in doing that uh, solely by the UK Government's commitment to the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. And insofar as the uh, implementation and the interpretation placed on the Northern Ireland Protocol by the European Union to date is incompatible with the principles of that uh, Belfast Good Friday Agreement, uh, of course all parties should seek to uh, adopt a, a, a more uh, sensible interpretation that brings it back into line uh, with that uh, Belfast Good Friday Agreement, and that is what we are endeavouring to do.